This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 12th of March. I'm James Spann, as expected. It's windy, it's cold, it's blustery. And look out for a freeze tomorrow morning. Let's go in there and take a look out the window. A gray overcast sky. That's coming from Tuscaloosa. Strong north winds ushering in colder air, falling temperatures. That's your sky cam from Gadsden. In Etowah County, the sky there is cloudy. And up north, that's a look at the mighty Tennessee River as seen from our sky cam in Decatur. Clouds cover much of the state this afternoon, as you can see. A few thin spots in the overcast, but those clouds will move out later tonight. You can see a big trough developing, digging down toward the southeastern states. That axis will move on to the east. So tomorrow we go back in drier air. The sun will come back, but it will be noticeably colder. Temperatures, uh, Birmingham 53. That was at 2 o'clock. Uh, 3 o'clock, we dropped down to 50. North winds gusting to 30. 40s up north, 45 at Cullman, 44 at Haleyville. And most locations will see temperatures at or below freezing early tomorrow morning. And around the nation, very cold air has returned to the Great Lakes, New England. And we've got a whopper of a snowstorm going on in parts of the cold air. we got winter storm warnings in effect from northeast Indiana to Maine. Blizzard warnings around Buffalo, New York. And uh, down this way, wind advisories for all Alabama counties, except for this part of the state down around Dothan. Uh, the winds will die down tonight. And over in Georgia, that's a freeze warning. And everybody across the Deep South will see freezing temperatures tomorrow morning. The Weather Service offices differ in how they issue late season freeze warnings, but they've got one up there for Atlanta. But again, we clearly will have a good chance of a freeze here early tomorrow. Still the standard slight risk of severe weather for the rest of the afternoon and evening through parts of Virginia and Maryland. Pennsylvania. And the rain for the next five days, this carries us through Monday morning. This is suggesting rain amounts of about one inch over much of the state. And of course, the next rain will come over the weekend. And we'll talk about that as we go. This is model output. This is the GFS, the global forecast system, the 12Z run, valid at one o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon, troughing on the East Coast. Down below that, we have a dry air mass in place. We start the day somewhere between 26 and 32. The sky will be sunny. The high should be in the middle 50s, considerably cooler than average for this time of the year. Friday. Friday morning is going to be cold. I'd say mid-30s, a freeze maybe for some of the colder pockets. High Friday should be in the middle 60s. The sky will stay mostly sunny. All right, weekend fans, what's the deal with this next impulse? Let's take a look. Uh, this is Saturday at uh, early afternoon, 1 o'clock suggesting rain is possible at that point, but really the most widespread rain is still west of the state. But if you're planning out the weekend, no doubt to plan on showers Saturday, not a washout, but occasional showers, a distinct possibility, maybe starting as early as uh, early Saturday morning. But this is suggesting the most widespread rain and the heaviest rain could come Saturday night. Uh, this is Saturday night just after midnight, 1 a.m. Sunday, showing widespread rain over the northern half of the state. And then Sunday early afternoon, everything begins to move out. So uh, this is kind of suggesting maybe the main window for rain would be from uh, maybe noon on Saturday until noon on Sunday. And then we're not saying it's going to rain for that entire 24-hour period. It won't. Uh, but clearly, just plan on some rain at times over the weekend. Highs relatively comfortable. They should be in the 60s both days. This is the European uh, valid Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, suggesting some uh, heavy rain possibly over parts of south and east Alabama. But still some pretty decent rain up this way as well. So clearly some rain over the weekend. And again, we'll tweak the timing as we get closer. Next week we go dry. Uh, Monday the high would be in the low 60s. The low would be in the 30s if this is right. Tuesday we're dry. Middle 60s likely. And this is Wednesday, a week from today. Should be a gorgeous day. Lots of sun, the high around 70. The bulk of next week at this point looks totally rain-free. Later in the month, this is Monday the 24th of March. That looks relatively wet with a cold front coming in. And the end of the forecast on the 28th. Again, a fairly active southern stream. And energy, uh, energy there suggesting maybe some rain south and east of here. But, of course, we're not looking for specifics. We're looking for trends. We do note a cold 1,048 millibar high over Montana. But the upper winds would keep the bulk of that north of here, if that's all correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.